twelve, AC circuits, part one, alternating voltage, current, and power. Here is a diagram of an AC generator. We have this coil that's spinning anti-clockwise inside this magnetic field between North Pole and South Pole, and a current will be induced in the coil and will flow out into the external circuit. Voltage changes as the coil rotates. These five diagrams represent different positions of the coil as it rotates through one complete cycle. And the induced voltage is like this in the shape of a sine curve. An equation for the change in voltage is V, which is voltage, equal to maximum voltage, which is that one there or that one there, times sine of omega, which is the angular frequency of rotation of the coil, times time. An alternating voltage will produce alternating current in the resistor. In the resistor, the current is simply V over R. So the change in value of the current is now I equal to I max times sine omega t. Measuring alternating voltage and alternating current. A DC meter connected across an AC supply will measure zero. Why is that? Because the positives and negatives of a sine curve will cancel each other. So we use an AC voltmeter to measure the RMS value instead. RMS stands for root mean square value. The RMS voltage is a DC equivalent voltage that gives the same power output as the AC supply. Same is true for RMS current. Unless explicitly stated, assume all AC voltages and currents to be RMS values. The RMS values are related to the maximum values as follows. For example, the current, RMS current is equal to the maximum current divided by the square root of 2. Same with voltage. This example says the household electrical supply in New Zealand is 240 volts and it's RMS. And you had to find out the peak value of this RMS value. And then find the RMS current in a 100 watt lamp connected to this household supply. Question A, you rearrange the original formula and you get that, back, get that answer. Then for RMS current, you divide power, which is 100 watt, by the RMS voltage. You get that.